So, hello everyone. Today our guest is India and international artist Shibu Nateshan. He is now in Wales. I think, sir, you are in Wales. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so then, uh, welcome, sir, in our YouTube channel. So uh, first of all, I have to thank you for joining us and uh, give us your precious time. Uh, so in the beginning, I like to know about your journey. Uh, how you come to uh, just decide that you, you are going for a, a making career in art art field. So uh, tell me about the beginning about your career. See, um, uh, I was born in a family of artists. Actually, my father is also uh, father was also a painter. Okay. So then I used to draw from my childhood, you know. So okay. the, the I I had all the basic skill, uh, you know, when I was very young. So I always drawn and all that. And then um, mm. my interest was to study literature because I was following one of the footsteps of my sister who was studying literature. You know, I thought like I, I would like to learn, you know. Really, writing, uh, you know. Sir, I'm interested in you. Uh, where are you from in India, Kerala or Tamil Nadu? Oh, I'm from uh, Kerala. Uh, Kerala, Kivandram, okay. You know, district, which is Kivandram. the capital of Kerala. Okay. So I'm, a, I'm from a small village, uh, you know, called Wakam from okay. Trivandrum. Okay, sir. Then, uh, yeah, so then I studied in Trivandrum College of Finance, my BFA degree. Okay. Um, after that, I went to Baroda MSc University, Faculty of Finance, oh, to uh, study for MNM Fine, no? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Then also, then in '95, I was awarded to study in Netherlands okay, for two years yeah, at the Rice Academy in Netherlands. Okay. So uh, then after that, you know, I, I, I also, you know, live a lot of time in England. Okay. Also in India, you know, mostly in India. Okay. So when, uh, when you decide that you are going for abroad and permanently stay over there or working actually, uh, you know, where uh, right now there? Uh, what, what was the question actually? Uh, when you decide that you are staying in outside of India, no, that is actually because I'm married to an English citizen. That's why I'm staying here. Oh, gotcha. no, there are no other reasons. You know, I love India. You know. <laughs> uh, actually, nowadays I, know I spend most of the time in India. You know, they come around to India. You know. Okay. So most of the time I'm in India. Yeah. Uh, now actually, because I'm, I'm I'm staying here because of the Corona issue. You know, otherwise I would have yeah. been in India. So everything is safe now. Uh, all all around you. Yeah, yeah, it's, everything is fine here. I know I'm, uh, I'm also painting almost every day, and you know it's a wonderful place, you know. So it's, it's lovely. Yeah. I thoroughly watch uh, in your every post in Facebook, your artworks uh -huh. uh, and yeah. watercolor. So how it's uh, your genre came into your mind that your uh, typical landscape uh, artist in practicing right now. You're posting. Why, why, basically, why I feel like painting landscape, isn't it? That's the yeah. question, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I used to paint the sort of world world issues and uh, you know the, 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 the all the media issues, political issues, all those things all last 15 years before I start painting till uh, 2005. Okay. Then you know like I, I I used to use a lot of photographic references, you know. Okay. So I find. Uh, 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 while painting, you know, this is, I cannot express my painterly qualities so much. In that's that's the photography reference paintings are very limited. Yes. And also, this uh, I also felt that all these political issues we are dealing with is are given to us. It's not your own issue. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's all that given by the media in order to control us or to attract us, trap us. You know, whatever it is. You know. So I thought there is a world, uh, you know, beyond all these things, uh, which is very beautiful, which is so much in natural, no much in beautiful rhythm, you know. So I gradually, I used to paint landscape before, but I didn't take, uh, you know, landscape that's that, that way as I do now. So I thought, I thought like the painting landscape or painting anything in front of me, like people or objects or whatever, 
you know yeah. there there is more more possibility to express my own interest uh, you know the painterly aspect of this okay. so that is uh, uh, you know uh, that that's why i got into painting mostly landscape because more landscape is always there for me you know to find a model and all and there are few difficulties you know so I, i i also like to paint people anything anything in front of me i would like to explore you know so then also some... the, you know life journey you know Yes. Development of an artist, you know. Yes, sir. So, what do you, uh, what, uh, what do you find or getting information from outside of India that your work uh, is this any kind of giving in impact in your artworks outside of India? Any kind of cult cultural differences and all? Yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of people. I mean, like uh, you know, it's uh, this huge things, the landscape going on all over the world. You know, America. You, you know, I mean, there's also I am a part of some of the. forums and they all liking it you know I and mean, they all appreciate what i'm doing you know so it's good you know so yeah. then you know the whatever the, the interesting thing about art is if you do portraits if you if you if, if you study the history of portrait for example it's a huge thing landscape also like that you know there are thousands and thousands of great painters in the landscape field you know yeah. so it's a very challenging landscape is very challenging because the nature is perfect you know you know it's it's it's, uh, it's it's an amazing to things to do to examine your own you know abilities as a painter you know the pain the doing actually, painting sir. yeah the, 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 sir, actually know, the i go through i go through your fb profile so i just found out that uh, you are been with uh, bupen khakkar and many legendary artists too so yeah, 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 what about yeah. the that time uh, what kind of feelings you have and uh, what are you getting learning from them see the, the the i got uh, you know quite a lot of success while i was a student i didn't have to go through in my life all this uh, struggle aspect of uh, artist to you know to make them some an artist they go through a lot of struggling period you know which i didn't have at all in my my own life this from the art school i was picked up by galleries and things like that so the bupen like people bupen gula mohammad sheikh all these people Gula-Mohamed were living Sheikh-Bain. in Florida. you know yeah so especially bupen i had a very close uh, contact while i was a student in the netherlands bupen was also there in, uh, in amsterdam for a while in a few months i used to meet him in uh, you know, a quite often and you know and so we were quite a good friends yeah i miss him sometime you know he is like is an interesting you know man. Yeah. then sir now nowadays uh, how you get uh, to experience the difference between then and now the time you being with bupen khakkar in netherland and now uh, right now the contemporary genre and contemporary indians well, are quite changes now i'm not, yeah i'm uh, i'm actually not uh, living in a place there were a lot of there are a lot of artists you know man like baroda is like a, a place a lot of uh, artists live there you know man so they have they they go to often meet in the evenings or you know openings and things like that. but i don't have that kind of experience now you know i hardly meet any artists Okay. that doesn't matter to me also you know i mean for me that is not uh, important to meet an artist or talk about it or anything but i have a phone call connection in them far away friends i quite often call them and you know we chat and then you know, we talk about our list and that but otherwise you know i am also you know like i don't stay in a single place for a long time i am always traveling you know I mean. while i am in india i travel around the country by my jeep and you know i paint you know all you know, various places of india i been a lot of places in india like northeast you know do you been in uh, darjeeling sir i am huh? from darjeeling i am from a district darjeeling in siliguri do you been there do you have have been there ever yeah. siliguri yeah. siliguri 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 i been long time ago but this time i went wow. to when i went to northeast from uh, you know the bengal calcutta to northeast siliguri was not far away but yeah. we took the, the direction to assam Ah, so right. Uh-huh. I will go another time. I, I'm I'm going to go there because it, I want to go to Darjeeling like places also yeah. to paint. Yeah. 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 I Siliguri. I've been there. I think once when I was traveling to Sikkim, you know, about okay. 15 years ago. You know, then I think I went to Siliguri. Yeah. Yeah. But this north trip was amazing. You know, I was traveling northeast. Yeah. It was very interesting. Yeah. The landscape are quite different. Other, other yeah, amazing, places, no? amazing, yeah, amazing. I feel yeah. actually, I, 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 I have to go again, you know, because you need a lot of time, you know, especially to paint. You know, you can't just go and paint. The the nature have to invite you to paint. You know, that's what I feel. It's not that you know you can go and just paint like that. You yeah. know, the nature have to 
ask you, you know, okay, paint me now, a tree or whatever you are painting. You know, that, that you have to ask you to paint. Then only painting happens. So how, <laughs> sir, exactly. Uh, then uh, what is your philosophy to make painting and all? Uh, what do you find in your artwork? Yeah, I mean, painting gives me clarity about the world, my world view, you know, my existence, you know. So that's, yeah. all, that's all painting does to me. So therefore, I have to paint quite often, otherwise I go down, you know, my mental state. Yeah. So to keep me up, I have to paint, you know, that, that painting gave me greatest truth. Nowadays, I feel like, you know, I don't need to uh, anymore read any books or any you know, things to, uh, to get knowledge. Because painting gives me everything through experiencing painting in you know, itself, you know. It's Apart great, from painting, great, sir, uh, did you do any kind of sculpture or any kind of other mediums work? I mostly work on um, oil paints uh, and watercolors. I don't like acrylic paint. I don't know, you know. I, I'm very happy with these two mediums. So, you know, I, I used to paint acrylic in the early 90s. And I did a few paintings. So after that, you know, especially when I went to Netherlands, what happened? Netherlands is a place for uh, oil painting, you know. The, okay. There were a lot of great Dutch painters like uh, Rembrandt and were me, Franz Charles and all that, you know. So in other words, I am the, the friends who are, you know, we are talking about art and they said that oil painting can only make create the greatest painting. So I knew that, I always do oil painting. So I, I never felt to do any other mediums. You know. Even kind out of, of painting, I never did anything else. I, I did a few sculptures. Apart from that, you know, I... You sculptures know, by, I uh, uh, by clay or something in other uh, stone or... Stone sculpture or wood? No, only, or only clay. Clay, 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 clay. I okay. did a few sculptures. I did one a monumental outdoor sculpture, a big one in Baroda. Hmm. You know, uh, again, painting is my main thing. You know, I mean, painting, any painters can do sculptures because the same knowledge you are putting in. You know, okay. so engineering sculpture is actually not different. Exactly. Any sculptor can paint, any painter can sculpt. You know, I mean, it's not So, different. sir, uh, what is your favorite artist? Who is your favorite artist? Artist. Yeah, favorite artist. I mean, there are a lot of painters. I always look at the painters, uh, you know, uh, whatever I am involved, you know, the, the artist close to that thing. That way, I like uh, quite a lot of, uh, you know, landscape painters right now. And also for, uh, portrait painters like John Singer Sargent, Anderson, you know, okay. Jack Sarola, you know, mm -hmm. like uh, so many painters, yeah, Tipolo, you know, things like uh, yeah. So, sir, uh, up, upcoming days, what your uh, new plan? My plan is just to carry on painting. You know, it's all depends on the weather here. You know, and if the sun is out, it's very nice. You know. So right so, now, what uh, what is the uh, what about the weather right now? It's uh, sunny or uh, any rainy moment? Right uh, today, sun is just uh, sun is just out now, but it can go for any time. You know, it's a very unpredictable weather. Right? Unpredictable it's weather. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, especially when you know sometimes it rains, you know, unpredictably. But so far we are having great, great weather. You know, I, when I came here, this is a massive garden here has a full of flowers in the spring. You know, I, you've been watching my paintings. You know. Yeah, I saw. I saw every so, every yeah, that's landscape. What it's here beautiful. Here. That's what I'm painting. Yeah. It's beautiful. Not only it's beautiful, it's the, the, the way you sir uh, doing the watercolor. It's not like yeah. the toning uh, process or just a wash process. Uh, it's just uh -huh. a paint, paint to paint, just like a stroke. Uh, the way yeah, you treat yeah, yeah, landscape, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's completely yeah, I different. I it like that, you know. Yeah, and also I don't do any drawing for painting, you know. No play primary drawings. Okay. I get bored, you know. If, if I draw, then what is the point of filling up? So I directly start with something, and at the end it happens. You know, especially oil paint. Uh, you know, you can do anything. Watercolor, you have to be a little bit careful about the the, 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 the the nature of the medium. But still, I can do it, and I like it, you know. Uh, most yeah. of all, most of people are uh, watercolor doing something washed using more water than color, and but your work is quite different, quite different uh, in uh, yeah, visual yeah, impact yeah, is quite yeah. different from others. So it's invented yeah, by yourself, yeah. sir. I don't know. It's uh, it came to me. How it came to me? Maybe it's natural to me, you know. When, uh, you know. So so actually, I am not actually looking for a style or anything in my painting. You know, this is how I paint. That's all. You know. So then, you know, there are there are a lot of good Indian landscape painters. Actually, I see in Facebook. And the only problem with these painters, and as you said, they concentrate on those various other things. So that uh -huh. take away 
take away the, the, the reality of that space they are painting. You know? I think you need to love what you are painting. You know, when you paint a tree, you have to love that tree. You know, not just, I just want to paint this tree. You know, tree is not just a tree, it's a life, you know. It's a life, right. Ah. Sir, uh, so that's how I connect with them, you know. Yes. Sir, I saw yeah. you some paintings uh, previously, previous work, uh, large painting, I think so. Uh, one uh, one figure, I think your portrait, you're swimming around fishes. Uh, oh, did you yeah, remember? Yeah, that's an old painting, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's quite beautiful, something. That, 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 that painting was, I, you know, there, there, was, there were uh, photographic reference. Nowadays, I don't use at all photography. That's, uh, you know, okay. many years, you know. I, I, so the, before, you know, the, what happened when you look at a photograph from wherever, you think, oh, how, what I can use it? You know, I mean, like, I'm like, uh, you know, yeah. oh, like, uh, you know, oh, what's possible today? When I look at a photograph, it's just a photograph only. You know, I have no other interest in that, that. You know, I mean, I don't need to use it for myself. You know. So right so, now. So I think that, that that's good. All the relationship of photography is actually changed for me. You know. Okay. So right now, yeah. what kind of uh, work did you do now? Right? I'm mostly doing oil paintings. Oil painting. Can you show us mm -hmm. a little bit about uh, around you? Yeah, yeah. Whatever around you. Yes. For example, my last painting happened like yesterday evening. You know, so the, the, there, is a, there is a lake here, you know, we went to the lake about one hour, I have to walk there, carry all this heavy stuff with me, and go there and paint, you know, mm -hmm. so I did it, that is my last painting, you know, last evening. So these kind of things I do, and then also I, when I need to paint, I just walk around in this garden, and then that space invite me to paint. Sir, can you, uh, can you show us so far, a little I, bit I around you? Can you, show us, uh, can you show us a little bit around you? Uh, okay, you can see the 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 the, the mom. Can you see? Oh uh, yes, sir. It's quite beautiful. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, it's place. Place. yeah. So from inside, I can say I you are particularly in habit. It's a beautiful place. Eden, Eden. Yes, it's a very very famous <laughs> tourist place. This, you know, in the <laughs> if it is not Corona, you know, there will be full of tourists <laughs> in yeah. this area. So it's yeah. a countryside or a proper uh, city or countryside, a countryside. It's countryside. A countryside. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there is actually a place nearby uh, the beach also there. So you have to go maybe about 15 kilometers. Okay. Then there is a beach. Mm. So you know we are no nowadays not allowed to travel those places. So but then we can go for a you know walks here in the in the, in the woods. So there okay. are no free people or anything. So we every day do some one or two hours walk. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's how we, you know, it would have been very difficult if I was in London, you know. I don't know what is seen in London. But uh, there is many scope over there, no? right now, uh, for uh, for an artist especially, in, uh, in England, there is lots of yeah. scope, or lots of galleries, museums, or lots of yeah, art, yeah. Art, artistic activities over there. So, uh, did, yeah, you yeah. Feel, uh, did you feel any difference uh, from India to there? Uh, regarding uh, like your work and other other things people are uh, doing. Uh, no 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 because you know the, the thing about painting is, is a painting has a language you know, anybody can communicate you know anywhere yes, in the sir. world you know yes, so and also you know my painting I, uh, people don't feel here different because whatever I'm painting is in front of me you know I mean it's a, it's not like a so called imposed uh, culture and all you are putting, tradition, culture and all putting in it, you know, it's just to that experience, that moment experience, that's what I'm painting, which, uh, 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 you know, it's not like, uh, for example, says, uh, oh, you, you know, some, we say like a painting, of Indian painting, you know, I mean, say a sari wearing lady or whatever, you know, I mean, it's not like that, it's, my paintings are not like that, you know, man, so, so sir, I'm also not interested in that side of it. Sir, uh, Mine is a present, whatever is present in front of me, that's all. Okay, so sir, uh, the local peoples are uh, what kind of behavior uh, about Indians? What they think about Indians uh, as an artist? What do you think? Uh, I don't know. I never asked anybody, or nobody, nobody asked me. <laughs> you know? I don't know. You know, I think I, I think they are watching what is happening in India. You know, but uh, you know, also I have a gallery in London. I, show, I just uh, had a show two months ago. You know, so. Okay. Landscape painting. Yeah. So, so, I mean, that kind of uh, problems are not there. Oh, especially mm. in London. Yeah, any countries. If you go, I traveled a lot of places. You know, I mean, painter is a painter. You know, 
<laughs> wherever it is. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, so right now, uh, what kind of painting did you do? I do. Yeah. What kind of painting? Yeah, I'm mostly mostly painting landscapes. You know, things in front of me. It's called plain air paintings. Then also I do land the portrait paintings, figure people. You know, models. But I hardly get model. My son sometimes sit for me. You know, you know. So I'm looking forward to in the future to do a lot of people also. You know. So many people are thinking, especially students are thinking that uh, uh, artists are should uh, doing uh, whatever the market wants them. Uh, did you ever think about it? Uh, no, way. no, 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 no. I, I never did that also in my life. You know, whatever I did, it was uh, it's gone into market and did very well. The, I still uh, do it. You know, it's not it a say, it that na, the tradition right now or the trend right now, uh, the practicing like this, this kind of work are uh, really people appreciating right now. Did you feel any kind of difference from previous work or right now the present days? Uh, no, no, no. To, I, uh, I feel the same. I feel the same. Whatever I was doing, it's also the same. The only thing, you know, I, I stopped using photographic sources because I thought that was limiting my painterly aspects. You know, man, that you know, was a painter for me. You know, the, that, that uh, you know, no, the, the exploring, you know, that unlimited thing of painting, you know, the, the, the thing. So that's what I want to express in painting. So therefore, I had to get rid of this photographic business. And it comes to the reality, you know. <laughs> That's all. But I'm still like my own journey. I don't. I don't. I. I'm not actually following any trends or anything. I mean, that doesn't interest me at all. So you know, I mean, I mean the, the younger days I did probably, you know, all this uh, uh, contemporary norms. You know, now I am not interested because I feel whatever I am doing is contemporary only. You know, I don't have yes, to sir. get into a group and do whatever they are doing. You know, it doesn't matter. So, uh, what is your best exhibition in life? I had a lot of exhibitions. They were all good, you know. I can't differentiate. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I, I had a, uh, yeah. I'm almost all of my see whatever the work he did for exhibitions. It's a memorable. Uh, I mean to say it's memorable. It's uh, never forgetting something like this. Uh, there is nothing like that. Some painting I have, some painting you know, I'm uh, still like they look good. But basically, you know, every painting you put to yourself completely, you know. I mean, so hundred percent of uh, honesty is there in every painting. Therefore, uh, you know, uh, some some I can't say I answer that question because for me everything is same basically. People say this is good and that, you know, I and mean, that is from their views. For me, it's a different relationship with it, you know. Therefore, I can't tell you this is my best painting and this is not. It's I all saw, experience I gone through, you know. I saw your uh, one of the different work, just like a camouflage type of. Uh, I think it's an uh, animal, maybe, or insect. It's a camouflage type of painting. Did uh -huh. you remember? Um, uh, yeah, I, I, that, that, that I wrote. It's an ant, ant kind of thing. Ant something. Mm. It's a yeah. cr crawling or a, a completely camouflage. Uh, so it's. I know, I know. I, did I found that uh, it's a different, ant, different, ant, different ant, camouflage. Too. Yes, I found uh, that it's quite different that. from your uh, regular practice. See, it's all same. It's all same. If you tree, if a painter, as a subject matter, say that a tree, if you paint a tree and a people, a man, oh. and standing, you know, it's a two turbulence. For an artist, it's not too different. It's the same thing. You are putting the same knowledge. You know, I mean, so there is no difference. It's only the subject matter differ. You know, but association doesn't differ. Yes, sir. Mm. So, uh, so is different, but your your relationship with was the same, you know. So, something say about your political artworks, sir. Just political I, artwork. Uh, political artwork, just say uh, like this. A few peoples are uh, back around, and uh, some militaries are checking their bodies uh, or suspect something or yeah. what kind of. Uh, what is the relation? What are you thinking? Yeah, you know, you know, the, 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 the time of this Iraq war and you know, the Afghanistan war, Libyan war, and also we had recently quite a lot of uh, you know uh, 
confrontation, you know, political confrontations that end up in war and a lot of life you know, we lost and, you know, all these things. So I was very uneasy about it because I was living all this international lifestyle, you know, coming in the UK, in India and all that. If you live in India, probably you don't feel so much in, in your own experience because the newspaper probably give you all the information. But in these countries, you can see that. I saw your photo, they, they are uh, searching, especially, you know, other religious groups, you know, people, you know, and they, they are suspicious about them. All the Islam, one time, you, are, so you, you know, the people treated them like a terrorist, you know, I mean, so bad. Yeah. Okay. So okay. those are the kind of experience I was, uh, I was painting. Then I realized that the, this, uh, all the political things are manipulations, the system, you know, which uh, want to, you know, keep you in their control. So therefore, you they are always putting you in suffering, you know, give you difficulties, you know, in your life. They never free you. So I thought, like, I don't want any more, uh, any more, you know, address these issues. I had enough of these political issues because yes, this will go on. The art can't do anything, you know, or nothing can do anything. Uh, it will go on. I feel exactly. even this corona thing is even is a political thing. And it can yeah, so disturb the mind also, no? It can disturb in your mind. Yeah, that, that used to disturb me so much, you know. I thought like, mm -hmm. uh, you, know, you know, everything is a nightmare. Now I don't even watch television. I mean, I don't want to know about those things. I only want to know about my own existence in this world. Okay. That's enough for me, you know. I mean, uh, there's no use of knowing things. Because that's what, uh, you know, make you a slave. Right now I'm watching one of your uh, work that a uh, flight take take off and birds are everywhere and yeah, one yeah, person yeah. are uh, may, uh, putting taking, a cigarette yeah yes putting like cigarette, a cigarette in their yeah. it's a beautiful combination anything can yeah. happen within a second anything can, yeah. can happen yeah. so what what is the uh, thing about your this kind of this uh, you know at that time uh, that was actually I, I did it 2003 or something like that that kind of time you know not to, uh, yeah 2003 you know that kind of yearly Yes, you sir. know, 21st century. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I was actually, what I was doing actually, I was just posting imageries and making a third meaning, you know, and that's what, that was mainly basically I was doing with those paintings, you know. It's not and, a direct uh, meaning coming from the painting. It's a, it's a sarcastic something uh, you can understand. Yeah. Yeah, th there is a lot of a narration, narrative narration. aspects also, in it, you know, and so now I don't have any narrative in my painting. Okay. Now is the only the grace, the whatever you are seeing, that's oh. it. You know, it, maybe it can be a light falling on an object. That, that it's is not a me. critical way to think. It's a, just a simple way to see and observe and get pleasure from it. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's, it's a direct way approach, way. I think, uh, sir. You know, the, the thing is actually uh, painting. Painting, you have to always challenge yourself. You understand? You know? If you can do one thing, you know, I mean, you, you, I, painters like me, I don't want to repeat that, you know. I want to get more challenging, you know. I have to, you know, I have to push myself, you know, and more and more. So I always, uh, 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 you know, uh, choose imagery which is challenging to me. That is one of my starting point to painting. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, that you know, is challenging. Yeah. If I can, I can easily make it, I'm not interested in that, you know. I want a little bit of complication in the in the imageries to deal with, you know. Exactly. So that gives you such a pressure for me when I when I you know succeed, if I succeed that, most of the time I do, you know. Then in the history of painting, you know, there are incredible painters in the world. They have already done you know whatever we are doing today. We can't create anything new in this world. We are exactly. only the only continuation, you know. Sir, in your landscape, you just said that photography in past you were working on photography and then it's converted into a painting uh, but uh, in your landscape it's uh, visually uh, it's painting but it's give you the impact of photography also that it's a static moments uh, in front of your eyes whatever you are seeing no because uh, see, photography is what photography we are a technology uh, technology copy technology. the nature you know man. yes sir that's uh, what it, the photography is the artist is also doing the same thing not with the camera yes you understand uh -huh. That's only different. The photography can't. So, yeah, see, if you look at Michelangelo's uh, Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa, can be photographic. You know, that's yeah. what he saw then. You know, the model in front of him. You know, I mean, photography can do that now. 
Yeah. So only the, there is there is no difference. Only thing is I am not using a camera or camera references technology. I using my own eye, you know, to see it in front of me. So I am a camera myself. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sir. Why not? So what is yeah. your favorite artist in UK, sir? You UK. have any favorite? Yes, in UK. I mean, favorite artists. That kind of things are not there anymore. You know. Only thing you know, so, so when, when you do certain things, though, is you know, okay, that artist also, you know, at, you know, attended the same thing, you know, I mean, that kind of thing only there. There are plenty of great painters in the UK, like Samuel Palmer, I like very much, you know, Thomas Gilding, you know, there are not this so called people. I, I don't look at nowadays the, the painters that we see in the art history book. Or contemporary and David Hockney, Francis Bacon, you know, Lucian Freud, you know, there are yeah, there are a lot of mainstream they artists. artists. They don't interest me so much. Okay. So one thing about uh, your watercolors. Little known painters, they have them uh, interest me more, you know, I mean yes, oh, the, those who from the past, you know, previous centuries. So that, uh, that, what I'm saying is whatever I'm painting, you know, my research goes with that only, you know. So when I'm doing a landscape, I don't have to look at a Lucian Ford's paintings, you know. Yeah. <laughs> no way my painting demands that. Exactly, you know? exactly, sir. Uh, sir, one thing about your uh, landscape uh, paintings, just uh, like uh, Edward Munch's uh, The Screen Painting, everyone knows mm -hmm. that, The Screen. Yeah. So the yeah. way Edward uh, Munch did in this uh, work, that the, every tone has in in own, own way or own journey. Mm. Every tone, every color, uh, like uh, his screaming and every uh, his ambient ambience, his uh, environment also uh, equally vibrating also. So in uh, like your uh, paintings also uh, same uh, things, mm. but it's it's uh, in a different approach in a positive way. Yeah. I just found that. I look at a lot of Edward Munch nowadays in the in the social forum and all. See, Edward Munch was a very productive painter. You know, man. he was uh, he was coming yes, from a very realistic style, natural style. You know, he could paint very well a figure. Yes, you know, yes, but he's sir. not like a, then he free himself. That is quite amazing. You know, he radicalized yeah. his painting style, and especially that was a that kind of time. You know, all this expressionism and you know symbolism. Yes, you know, he symbolism. lived that kind of time. So he was a radical painter that way, you know. I mean, I mean, what a, what a, what a, some of his paintings are, are so free, but at the same time, the, the basic qualities of painting is there. Is there exactly? Not sir. Painting like yeah, somebody who doesn't know painting, you can make out a piece come from a painter who have a, a huge depth, you know. I mean, he was a very good painter painting it, you know. I mean. Yes, sir. So that kind of probably that kind of loose thing, loosely painting thing, probably I will also go through sometime in the future. I don't know, you know. <laughs> sure, sir. Yeah. So uh, it was nice to talking to you, sir. Actually, yeah. uh, I'm quite happy to uh, take a conversation with you, and uh, thank, you. Uh, thank you again. Uh, thank hopefully, you. in future we can meet, uh, especially yes, whenever you comes in Siliguri, we can meet also. Yeah. Sure, sure. And how, what, how you are going to do this? Uh, you send me a copy of uh, this interview. Uh, actually, uh, right now I'm working. Uh, so uh, I'm working. In, I mean, a uh, little bit editing also. Then I put it in in a YouTube channel, and you get the oh. link also. Okay, sure. Uh, Let me know. Huh? Uh, sure, thank sir. You. And thank you, thank you for to tolerating my broken English. <laughs> it's I know, not a proper. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.